Hello there guys, welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today we're based in Adobe Illustrator and it's your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some really cool, amazing stuff within the graphic design world. What I'd like to do today guys is just show you how to create this really cool 3D logo idea. It's a very simple step by process, step by step process that you need to follow. And as you can see, it's very realistic looking, sort of a nice metallic material to it uh, with a nice shine. And obviously what I'll show you today, you can then create some amazing stuff of your own uh, and, re and use the tools and the uh, steps that I show you to really impress uh, future clients and future customers. Okay, so how do we do it? Now, what do we need to do first of all is I'm just going to use my selection tool and select everything and remove it. Okay, so I'm going to start off with my ellipse tool here and I'm just going to come through and create a nice ellipse, pressing Option on Mac or Alt on Windows to resize from the center point and Shift. Let's just swap the fill and the stroke around there. Let's bring this down and let's change the color to black. Okay, so Using my rotate tool, what I'm now going to do is come to this anchor point here and I'm going to press option on Mac or Alt on Windows and then click and dictate the angle amount that I would like and that would be 45 degrees. And what I'm going to do now is press copy. I'm now going to use the shortcut command D on the Mac or control D on Windows to continue that commandment. Like so. And as you can see now, we've created the basis of that shape. Now, what I need to do is make sure I'm able to uh, individually color uh, the individual sections within this particular shape here. And the tool that I'm going to use is called our Live Paint Bucket tool, you, which is the shortcut, the letter K. Now, I'm going to come over with that tool and just simply click on the, op, on the document there, on the um, design. And as you can see, when I hover over these sections, I can color them any section, any color that I would like. So using my color window here, probably gonna come through and let's just start coloring these sections like so. There we go. Fantastic. Let's say we go for a real sort of darker blue now, probably darker than that to be fair. Doesn't matter, you can always just come through and click and restart. Like so, and let's put in, I don't know, a nice bold red in the middle there or orange let's say okay all right so what i may do now is remove the stroke so i'm going to come through here with everything selected and just remove the stroke like so and then you can see i have my basis of my shape now with everything selected i'm going to come to effects 3d and materials and inflate now, what may happen, guys, this may take a few seconds for, the, for your computer to be able to work it out and uh, create the 3D elements. But my suggestion and my advice to yourself would be just to bear with it because the results are very, very impressive. And like I said, if you were to implement this any type of other shape, these steps are also available for you. Now you can see our 3D element is coming to really come into life now. What I'm going to do in our 3D materials windows, come to materials. I'm just going to scroll down using the base material, and I'm just going to decrease the roughness and just increase the metallicness of this look. Right. Okay. So this material, so bring that through there. What I'd always say, guys, is when you're um, through using the 3D tool and happy with everything that you've created, is always turn on ray tracing and come down here and click render. The reason is, guys, what it does, it just gives an extra sense of realism when you look at the um, shape that you've created and, and designed. And as you can see here, it looks quite cool and realistic. So I'm going to close my window, uh, my 3D materials window down there. And I'm just going to see if you now come to object and expand. And as you can see, now we have our 3D looking logo design. If you're interested in finding out more, guys, about the school and the courses that we offer and us as tutors, please, please take a look at our website at bluesbiographics.co.uk. Also, as well, please take a look at our um, social media at Blue Sky Graphics UK. There are some really cool designs on there by our very talented students. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.